All right, so I need you guys to do me a favor and tell me what course are you working on so that you can make a crap load of money this year. So we're going to do away with Udemy, and I'm going to show you guys the real way to get traffic and sales to your uh, courses that you're using ChatGPT to build. So we're going to combine local search. Yes, this is SEO with high ticket courses. OK, and we're going to build these courses out using ChatGPT. And don't worry. They are going to be fact checked. I'm going to show you a good way to get them fact checked so that you're putting out good uh, information. OK, so make sure you guys stay to the end. Watch this. All right. So over here on Udemy, you can use this to do a little bit of research and see what are the highest desired uh, courses that people are looking for. I saw that, the uh, you know, the tech things work. Uh, we have Amazon Web Services. Look at this. This has two hundred uh, twenty two thousand. 55 uh, students in it. This one has 6,139 students in it. So that's super uh, awesome right here. Then this one down here has 73. That one has 126. So you can just use Udemy to get some ideas of how to, you know, scan for good courses to create. So it would be nice if you have a background in it, but if you don't, it's not necessary because like I said, you're going to make partnerships to fact check. That's how you cure that disease. OK, so let's exit out of there. So just to show you guys that you can make a crap load of money with this. Uh, this is a site right here that can show you how to uh, go about picking niches that have high ticket courses in them. So this is marketing certifications. As you can see, Facebook, Google Analytics, Hootsuite, they can charge up to $2,500 for their certification. So if you know anything about those niches right there, then you guys are golden. But <clears throat> like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to go about um, you know, getting local search. So that means SEO. So in the comments, I want you to put perfect SEO game plan and I will email you my perfect SEO game plan that uh, has like 29 to 31 steps that will rank anything. So this stage right here, this page right here will show you some different courses right here that you can pretty much, you know, just outline or whatever you want to. Or if you want to just go back to Udemy and pick one and see the curriculum and then start using chat GPT, for example, we'll go back to Udemy real quick <clears throat> and we'll just see the uh, the course outline. All right. So we want to pick something that might not take too much like graphics and stuff, even though you can use uh, you can use Pictori and it'll do like background stuff. Uh, B-roll and all of that. But look at this one. Business fundamentals, entrepreneurship, fundamentals, freelancers, business strategy. So let's check business strategy right here. And then we want to see the ones that got the highest sales. So this is business strategy execution right here. OK. <clears throat> and then basically what we want to do, it says what you will learn to create a, a process of agile action to achieve strategic business goals. To achieve agile adaptation and alignment of organization systems, structure, skills, blah, blah, blah. All right. So the real outline is down here. Where is it? At? The course. OK, here it is. The course content. So you'll just take these one by one. But since we are using uh, marketing as an example for this, we'll look up marketing courses. It's a digital marketing course. <clears throat> Hey, guys, this is super awesome and super easy. So just make sure you're paying attention. Look at this course right here. It has over 159,000 students in it. So we're going to click on that one. All right, we're going to check this one out. And I'm going to show you exactly what you would do to make sure it is, you know, fact. Oh, dang. I guess they updated it. It's 730,000 uh, students in there now. So you can just, you know, look at what they're going to be doing and everything. What you'll learn, grow a uh, business online from scratch, get hired as an expert, make money as an affiliate market, work home. All right. So what you'll do <clears throat> is you're going to take all of the course content uh, titles, but you're going to create original content original content. You're not going to copy for you haters in the comments. You're not going to just copy this. OK, so watch this. We're going to write a course overview for what is this? A complete digital marketing course. Chat GPT. Listen to me. Write me a uh, digital marketing course overview outlining what will go over to make money with marketing. So let's see what it comes up with. Ah, come on, chat GPT. Don't play with me. Not today, baby. 
Let's do this. Let's be on time with it, man. All right. Forgive chat GPT, guys. I can't really control that it <laughs> malfunctions sometimes. You understand? I uh, wish you could just come up to it and say, feed me, Seymour, and then it'll start working. But it ain't like that. So I'm refreshing the page. Come on. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to put the same thing in there. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it's giving us a digital marketing course overview, blah, blah, blah. So while it's doing that, we're going to come back over here. We can close that out. I just wanted y'all to see that people are paying thousands of dollars for courses. Okay, it is not some YouTube bull crap. These are actual skills that people are paying for, you know what I'm saying, to get actual jobs or uh, build actual businesses. It's an actual skill to get certified as an expert in Facebook, Google Analytics, Hootsuite, and these things because they help businesses. So I don't want to surprise you. So I ain't going to show you that one yet. But as you can see, it's building a course. Uh, what's the name over there? So <clears throat> now we're going to take this four best free digital marketing tools to go viral. All right. So let's see what they say. So it's still right right here instead of four we're gonna ask it seven best free digital marketing tools to go viral let's see what it comes up with okay well here we go google, google analytics this tool allows you to track and analyze website traffic user behavior and conversions it is essential for understanding the performance of your digital marketing campaigns and websites. So remember, I want you guys to build assets. You need to be asset owners. All right. And you want to go out, go into the high ticket realm. You know what I'm saying? Don't just sell cheap stuff. OK, go into the high ticket realm. So that's why I told you to just use Udemy as as like a, a research tool. Or you can use ChatGPT and ask it was the uh, most high in high demand uh, courses people are learning, but they have like old school information since for, from 2021. That's why I went over here to do some research. Okay, so as you can see, it outlines seven tools. So number one is Google Analytics. Number two is Hootsuite. Number three is Canva. Number four is MailChimp. Then we got SEMrush. Then we got BuzzSumo. Then we got Google Trends. I'm gonna tell you the two most important ones for what we're gonna be doing <clears throat> is Google Trends, uh, well, I said two, three, okay? Uh, MailChimp and Google Analytics. SEMrush is awesome, but we really don't need that. Like, like if you're a real SEO, you can just like kill it just using Google itself. Go There's nobody that can tell you more about Google than Google. So you really don't need a lot of these tools. So we're gonna use Google Analytics, which comes from Google. We're gonna use Google Trends, which comes from Google. And the only one that doesn't, is MailChimp. MailChimp, the reason why we're going to use that is because you're going to create an email list uh, to follow up with people to buy your course just in case they don't purchase on the first day or something like that. All right. Do y'all do y'all understand what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments if you get what I'm talking about, baby. Come on, man. Come on. OK, so it told us the seven top tools that we'll be using. So next, <clears throat> we really don't need the uh, course resources. I, I guess you can say, OK, <sighs> what uh resources would a student need to uh learn in this course let's see what it says <clears throat> all right so as y'all can see man we're literally building a course from scratch and once it's done doing all of this extra stuff all you do is you take it over to pictori or if you don't want to do pictori because yes i get it you to me don't like AI generated voices. I got you. I got you. I understand. But guess what? Remember, I did a video showing you about 12 or 13 other course platforms that will allow you to upload your courses. On top of that, I also have my course platform, my new course platform, Anti-Job University. Uh, we're still building everything out, but you can be one of the early birds to go over here and put your course over here. And as long as your course is extremely valuable and you're not copying anybody, uh, I don't care if it has AI generated. So you come over here, you make a free profile, uh, you upload your course, you get your, your link to your uh, profile page and you start promoting it on social media and getting sales, baby. That's how you do it, baby. All right. So anyway, <clears throat> so 
These are the resources to learn digital marketing course outline a student would need the following. Look at this. Very simple. See, it's creating an entire course, a computer or laptop with Internet access. This is essential for ex accessing the course materials and using the various digital marketing tools and platforms. Then we got access to a variety of digital marketing platforms. Depending on the course, students may need platforms like Google ads, Facebook ads, Twitter, LinkedIn and blah, blah, blah. Then a budget, guys. I told you this ain't no little old stuff. I'm showing you guys how to make some money, baby. So you want to be able to teach people how to make some money, baby, too, which, of course. And we're just using, you know, Facebook marketing or Google or marketing as an example. If you teach crocheting, then you still use the same process. OK, then for a website or blog, students should have their own website or blog to use as a test bed for implementing the digital marketing strategy. See, so it's awesome. And guess what? When you are creating these type of courses, it's things they're going to need for each step. For example, the computer, <laughs> let's say they don't have a computer yet. You can go and make you an affiliate account or affiliate account on uh, Amazon and link into it into your course. So when they go to that link, they can buy a laptop through your link. Boom. So you're making multiple sales. They, they paid to get into your course and they had to get a computer. Step two, digital platforms right here. They don't have to pay you, know, you for that. Um, uh, <clears throat> unless you got some type of referral, but then this one right here, a budget, they got to come up with that on their own website, a blog. You can find a referral or affiliate link for that, like Wix or, or WordPress. They might have some type of referral or something like that. Then, okay. A good understanding of English language, a willingness to learn and a clear understanding of business goals. So what is the next step? So as you guys see, we're, we're literally building it up. Chat GPT is doing it all. All right, <clears throat> watch this. Write a detailed FAQ section for this course that could help students. <laughs> Do you see it is doing all of the work for us? You understand what I'm saying? Of course, like I said, you know, you want to run this by a marketing expert. You know what I'm saying? You want to run this by somebody that has experience. And the reason why we went at this to marketing with this instead is because it's never going to be oversaturated, despite what people think. I'm going to show you how to do this locally, get local sales. And that opens you up to new markets to where there's no competition. OK, so just keep watching, guys, because it's going to be incredible, baby. All right. <clears throat> so you see the FAQ section getting outlined. And guess what? If you think this has some type of, um, you know, uh, duplicate content or something like that, at the end of all of this, all you want to do is tell ChatGPT to rewrite everything above in a more simplistic way, in a humor like style. So it's going to like use a lot of different adjectives and uh, 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 metaphors and similes. So it's going to make it completely unique. Even though it might use the same outline as another course, it's going to be complete, you, completely unique. You just need to know how to get good at uh, prompt engineering, guys. OK, so like I said, so what are we going to be ranking for? Like I said, locally, you can go after this keyword right here, marketing certification courses online, but it's going to be a crap load of competition. As you can see, here are some of the other related keywords and everything, which is awesome, but you know, in, and if you could rank for those, if you use the perfect SEO game plan, like like I tell you to, you can rank for it over time. But we don't want to take all day to start getting money. Right. And if you don't have a budget for marketing, I suggest you get one. But if you don't, you want to rank quickly. So what you're going to do is you're going to rank locally. See, a lot of people don't think you can rank locally for this type of stuff, but people take marketing courses locally. All right. So marketing courses, Los Angeles, that's what you would want to rank for. And it has way less competition than if you were to rank for or try to rank for marketing courses nationally, just a broad uh, keyword. You see what I'm saying? Then a related keyword. Look, digital marketing courses, Los Angeles. Oh, my God. Snap bitch. Even if you were to do Google ads, it wouldn't be high cost per click because, <laughs> I mean, it's local. Right. Watch this. Then you do the go to keyword ratio just to see, you know what I'm saying? Bop is only 34 results as far as pages trying to rank using this actual keyword in their page name out of 126 million results. That is candy from a baby. And then when you start looking at the site structure, you can see whether or not they are doing good SEO.
I mean, this is a decent looking site, but that doesn't mean that their SEO game is on point. But Brain Station, I think they're pretty good. Then we got UCLA. Okay, let's check this one real quick. And it's still over there doing this thing over there on chat GPT while we do this. Okay, so these are just basic education sites. That does not mean that they're going to be hard to outrank. You don't even have to be number one. You just have to be in the top three, guys. Top three, and you'll get crazy traffic. These little education keywords are easy. So also, especially when you start brand jacking, for example, UCLA Digital Marketing Certificate. All right, so if you rank for that, you say you'll do this. This is what you would do. That would be the name of your page, UCLA Digital Marketing certi uh, Certificate Alternative. Boom. <laughs> so when the people, when the person see an alternative and they go to your site and say, "Hey, it's going to say, hey, I know you were looking for UCLA, but we have a faster option and it's less expensive, and you can get straight to the money." Boom. You know what I'm saying? And they can start doing uh, using your course or whatever. This is going to be way easier to rank for than going after the keywords that everybody else is going for. Most people don't know anything about brand jacking because that's a term that I came up with. As you can see, is only eight freaking results, man. Only eight to beat out. <laughs> that's not difficult. But going after the national terms, that's muy difficile. All right. In my Spanish language. OK, so now we come back over here. It's done with the FAQ section. And let's see. Tip to finish the course and have the time. OK, what? OK, so we're going to ask what tips do you have to finish the course and have the time? You see this, man? It's super simple, man. It's super easy. Here's some tips to help you finish the digital marketing course and have the time. Set a schedule. Black. <laughs> candy from a freaking baby i'm a bully to toddlers this is candy from a baby yes lord <laughs> yeah i understand what i'm talking about okay do you see you're building out an entire course so even if you had to record it yourself okay the b-roll can be found from pictori or i mean it's still simple because all of the content is coming from chat gpt you don't have to know none of this so let's get to the part where i say you can fact check all right, let's go here. <clears throat> let's go to Facebook real quick, or you can go to Instagram. It's super simple. All right, so you can do a partnership with a person. Let's go to the search box. Everything running slow with Zoom. Come on. All right, marketing expert. Then we go to pages, baby. Or you can join a group or something, but I think you'll get a faster response uh, if you go to a page. So this is a digital creator. We got <clears throat> marketing, digital marketing manager, marketing expert, blah, blah, blah. You probably look down and find some people that ain't making too much money. All right. <laughs> OK, so don't go after like the people that are worldwide known or something like just go after like a low level person. No offense or something. Right. And then you're just going to ask them, hey, you're going to say, hey, I'm coming out with a marketing course and I want it to be the most helpful of all. Right. Do me a favor. Can you overlook it and make sure the content is up to par and I'll give you uh, 10 to 20 percent of the sales for the first couple of weeks? Boom. There we go. And that's going to give them incentive also to promote it to their following, to their people as well. Do y'all understand? So you're creating a partnership, making money and fact checking all at the same damn time. So also, like I said, you can house your course over here on antijobuniversity.com. Make a move and do that. So as you can see, ChatGPT, okay, so it gave what? 10 tips, 10 tips to finish shit and have the time. So you pretty much get the game, right? So then you'll just go through all of these. You know what I'm saying? You'll go through all of these and you'll be creating an extremely valuable course because it's proven. It's proven that this course, the course topics and everything is 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 working because he got a 4.5 star rating and he has 730,000 students on this digital marketing course. All right. So we just use ChatGPT to get all of the most uh, powerful uh, topics in his content that he's going over. All right. And it'll be a full scale 
course that you use chat gbt to build out and at the same time we went over here and made a partnership with a uh, an expert so that they can fact check so we fix all of those problems so tell the skeptics in the dang on comments like ooh, well okay now it's going to be a lot of trash courses out there how are you going to fact check how are you going to fact check nope we just made a partnership and they're going to leverage their audience to get us some sales as well while fact checking our stuff See, so ChatGPT is just an assistant, a research tool, a virtual assistant replacement so that you can keep some money in your pocket, baby, and still be able to put good, great, valuable content out there. If it's something you're not an expert on, then you just partner with an expert, give them a tiny percentage for a tiny amount of time. And if your course is any good, then you're going to get long last and this is going to be passive income. And I've already gave you guys some ideas of how to do that. OK, and you would use the same formula with any course. It doesn't matter. Uh, we can say uh, magic. Look at this. <laughs> if you create a course for magic, look, you do it locally, do it locally, rank locally. You definitely can beat out these damn websites. Ain't nobody like. These, these people ain't doing no hard SEO. Let's go to this number one. I bet you it's a trash site. Let's see. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> okay. But look, look, the site speed is super slow. Come on. Let's go ahead. The Academy of Magical Arts. That's a cool name, though. All right. But you know what I'm saying? Maybe they ain't going to let us go to it because Zoom is running slow and our site speed is slow. But you guys understand, right? Let me know in the comments if you understand what what this is, how how powerful it is to use ChatGPT to build out these courses. So we're going to recap. We're going to recap. We go over to Udemy and we find the most highly desired courses. And you'll know if they're highly desired by the number of students in them and if they been on there for a while and they had to update it multiple times, multiple times. Then you're just going to take the course content outline and you're just going to come back over here and have chat gpt create completely unique unique and like i said you use your prompt skills your prompting skills to make sure it's unique you know what i'm saying you can you can tell it to uh, uh something different create a digital marketing course for painters all right so if you think that this is uh just a, a a stolen course or something out there then fine tailor it specifically to uh, to uh, to painters write me a digital marketing course for painters digital marketing course overview for painters specifically outlining what they'll do to make money with their painting company you see what i'm saying that's how you do it so you got to talk to it like you'll talk to a dang on virtual assistant or an employee that you're paying okay so don't let the don't 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 be scared. All right. 